Okay, so thank you for joining us everybody and today I'm going to be talking to Magda who actually probably needs no introduction um, to those of you who've been into our London practice. She's a senior medical esthetician, she's a cool sculpting specialist, I think she's known as a cool sculpting queen amongst a lot of people um, in London and actually throughout the country um, and she was actually the first um, cool sculpting practitioner in the UK. She's been doing cool sculpting for actually over 10 years and cool sculpting recently had its 10 year anniversary. So actually it was quite interesting that, that Magda's anniversary coincided with the um, history of cool sculpting in the UK. So Magda knows so much about cool sculpting and so I'm gonna just launch into some um, questions with her so that some of the commonly asked things can be answered and you can just get a little bit of a snapshot about what cool sculpting is all about. So hello Magda. Hi Dr. Malford, how are you? I'm good. And we're both in lockdown, both suffering from our regrowth, but never mind. You look lovely. <laughs> you how, look are you, lovely. how are you coping in lockdown? Yes, it has been a bit difficult, isn't it? I mean, especially for the first few weeks. Uh, now I must say we're getting used to it, but um, yeah, I can't wait to see my colleagues and go back to my routine. And I hope this is going to be over very, very soon. Yeah, well, hopefully now I think we can see, we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. So we're going we're, we're gonna to be back soon. And this is why we're doing this, really, because we are going to be back soon. And lots of people will have um, their eye on cool sculpting as a potential treatment for them. And they want to know just a little bit more about it, actually, from the people who do it. So people like you, not from, from me. So can you just give us just a really, really, you know, broad idea of the kinds of areas that you commonly treat? When people come into school, what are the most popular areas for treatment? That was my phone, actually, not yours. That's fine. So what are the most popular areas for treatment? I think the most popular, uh, popular areas uh, these days, um, actually, I would say, is probably the chin area because uh, we tend to look at ourselves uh, every day and uh, it's uh, quite hard to work on the chin areas. Uh, obviously, we can improve our abs, our flanks, our arms by working out, doing exercise, but uh, chin, it's, it's a specific, um, um, specific areas that um, not, not many things can be done. I mean, of course, at certain age, we can have a bit of facelift, we can lift the skin, we can do a bit of our therapy, um, injectables, but uh, if there is those uh, pockets of fat, which sometimes, yes, can be mainly because we inherit it uh, from our lovely parents, grandparents, um, or maybe generally something, obviously, you know, something happened and, and, and it shows a little bit more and our body is a little bit easier to train rather than the face. So I would say probably chin for me. Um, long, long time ago was obviously abdomen flanks, but now these days I've been seeing lots of patients uh, coming and, uh, and complaining about the uh, chin areas or very often there are the patients which I've, uh, they already had cool sculpting elsewhere and this is the kind of uh, the last bit they, they want to improve. Yeah, that was what I was actually going to ask you, was actually do you find, because I think from hearing you just talking around the clinic when we're in clinic together and we're chatting, it, it's true that it's a little bit, um, I think there's a natural, healthy, skepticism about cool sculpting initially people sort of think oh, can it, it sounds too good to be true i don't really think you know does it really work of course you once someone's had an area done like you just alluded to there like they might have had their chin done or they might have had their flanks done and they can see it actually works really really well then actually do you find a lot of these people go on to have other areas done once they've done one area and it's they can see it works really well Absolutely, because I think that's the, I sometimes, uh, when I have a patient who obviously comes and says, oh, um, yes, like you said, it's too good to be true, though, my personal trainer said, oh, it can't really work. Very often I said, just, just let's try with that one area which really bothers you, let's see how it goes, and, and then I can guarantee you will be back, because as you mentioned before, I've been doing this for 10 years, and uh, I remember the very, very beginning, um, you know, um, when we just uh, had the cool sculpting in our clinic um, and they said, oh yes, it's amazing. And I said, no, it cannot work. It can't, how can, no, it can't, it can't, it cannot be true. 
And I had it done. I, it was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. I remember those patients coming back saying, my God, this has changed my life. Um, yes, of course, we have to be honest with the patient. There is a certain um, patient suitable for cool sculpting, uh, but it really can give you that confidence. And very often patients will try with one, one area and then say, hello, I'm back. And they won't wa wait till the whole um, process is over, which can take up to four months. They sometimes back, especially when we treat chin. You can see the results as soon as four weeks. Um, yeah. It does look different. And uh, very often patients say, my God, that has changed my, uh, my life, my skin, uh, my face looks better, I look younger. And um, like we also said before, um, cool sculpting as well as we reduce the fat, it does help to tighten the skin. So it could be the factor of a bit of uh, tightening, reshaping, recontouring the face um, with a little bit of help from, from cool sculpting. Yeah, no, I think that's a really made some brilliant points there. I mean, you almost went all the way along the, the benefits of it. I think the thing is with with double chins particularly, and we are talking about that a lot, but you have to be honest, it is a very popular treatment, isn't it? Because it really can make the face look young, look more rejuvenated and more attractive because it's recontouring. It's making the, the, the contours look more appealing. And the other thing that people don't realize is that there is some evidence that it actually causes skin, you know, elasticity to improve. So it actually causes the skin to retract again as well. So that's even better. That's another gain. So not only does we, do we lose the fat, but you actually cause the skin to retract as well and make it look more contoured and more lifted. So it's amazing. And again, you said straight away, patients will notice that effect very quickly, but it gets better and better over time, doesn't it? So that, that's the other thing. So I think that was great. I think the other area that you really love to do as well, and, and we're, we're quite experienced, well, we're very experienced at this at the clinic, um, is arms. Because now it's summer, because we've all been in lockdown, but actually, Treating the upper arm, particularly in women, of course, because it can be a real bugbear. You know, I'm a woman of that age category where even though I exercise and work out, I've still got quite lax arms. So do you do quite a, quite a lot of arm treatments? Is that something that people ask for? Yes, um, definitely. And then again, um, arm treatments can be so successful because as well as it reduces the volume, so it helps you to look better in your jackets. Uh, helps you to feel more comfortable in your clothes, it actually helps to tighten the skin. So um, very often patients would come, they would have a one treatment and few weeks, few months later, when they come for um, review session, um, they ask asking, can I have more? Can I do more? Because it does work. Um, it really helps. I mean, for some reason, some areas obviously, I mean, all of the areas in the body, they will respond in different ways. Um, and the arms, it's just amazing. I mean, I had a patient uh, right before we obviously had to close the clinic um, saying, you know, oh, my bingo wings, they're gone. You know, my son has commented, mommy, your arms are looking better. So she said, it's amazing how, you know, it's not that you're doing this for yourself only. Of course, you want to look better. You want to feel more comfortable. You want your clothes to fit, uh, fit better. Uh, so arms, I would say, is definitely one of the, yeah, one of the, again, so, I mean, honestly, if you can squeeze it, you can freeze it. So it will hey, work anywhere. You can squeeze it, you can freeze it. <laughs> yes, it will. Because I've been doing, I've been experimenting with cool sculpting for such a long time now. Of course, the company um, has made lots of lots of nice changes, and it's so much easier for us practitioner nurses. Can, to, can you just elaborate on that? Some of the changes, because in the good old days we had what the legacy, what we call the legacy, yes, and sometimes it's a little bit difficult to explain cool sculpting to people, isn't it? Because they don't really quite understand what goes on. And, and so let's just. It's an applicator, so it's a machine that we use, isn't it? That That's actually where where we measure out the area or assess the area. You you say what 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 you have to do in order to assess a patient? Because first of all, the first question, I don't want to muddle all this up. So tell me what's changed, not in too much, but what's changed from ten years ago to what what how we can do things now in terms of speed, versatility. Just give me a little overview. You don't have to be too detailed. Um, yeah, so obviously when we first got the machine into this country, it was just a machine with um, one applicator. 
yes, you could treat it a few areas, but mainly it was designed to treat your abdomen, your flanks. Yeah. Um, then obviously period of years, they've been, I, I would say probably every year they were introducing something new. So we had more curve applicator, uh, which you could treat um, more petite patients, yeah. um, but still it was one hour treatment. So that was including uh, quite strong suction, um, the freezing temperature was slightly different from what we can, uh, what we're using at the moment in our new applicators. And very often it was slightly, I mean, some patients would say they felt a little bit of discomfort uh, to start with because that pressure of the vacuum was so strong that they almost yeah. felt that they couldn't breathe. Yeah, so it took them few minutes up, yeah, was, yeah, on the upper abs, it could especially, feel like especially of the abdomen and, and, yeah. and slightly time, you know. I would say petite patients. Uh, that would probably that would be the, the I would classify those kind of patients. Uh, they they felt it a little bit. Uh, oh, it's super tight. It's super tight. Where these days we have an applicator which um, the, obviously the time has been changed, so it's not one hour anymore. Um, we've got thirty five minutes for some areas, or forty five minutes for, for example, up the submental area or um, larger applicator on the abdomen. And I think it's nothing to compare like it was before. Uh, time, definitely, we can do, um, you can do this treatment with it 35 minutes. Um, and um, the comfort, and again, this is based on myself, on my experience, on the patient who I've been treating for those years. Uh, they've been saying it's nothing. It's absolutely nothing like yeah. it used to be. Uh, it gets colder very quickly, it numbs the area very quickly, and um, seriously, you've got one series of watching something on Netflix and, and the treatment is over. And it's done, yeah. yeah. I think that's the most important thing, is that everybody now is time, time, time pressure. They want the treatment done, they want a sort of surgical result, but with a non-surgical option, meaning, you know, don't want any downtime, they want a result. And again, as I said, it all sounds too good to be true, but that is actually why it calls sculpting. I always say there are certain game changers in the industry, you know, certain things that come into our, our industry and mm. change and disrupt the way we work. And I think cool sculpting is one of those things. It came into the market, obviously over those 10 years, it's changed, as you've said, enormously, but it's been the biggest game changer. Because if somebody told me 15 years ago when I was in aesthetic medicine, um, oh, there will be a machine that can permanently uh, get rid of fat um, and give similar results to uh, a liposuction treatment in certain areas, I'd say, I must be joking. But actually, it really can do that, which is where what you're talking about. As you say, the timing's got quicker. We can do more than one area at a time, can't we? You often do two areas at a time, so you can yes. do two. Two flights. I mean, obviously, in our London clinic, we've got five systems, and uh, there was a time when I used four systems on one patient because, again, it was someone <laughs> who wanted to have it done so quickly. I'm not a big fan of doing that, obviously, but um, it can be done. It can be done, and it, it's seriously, it's um, it's not. Um, I mean, these days people won't say it's it's painful. They wouldn't even use that word slightly uncomfortable and again it's all about uh, how we prepare our patients for the treatment of course of course be the main main thing just give them enough information don't look okay. into internet because sometimes you just get lots of um, funny options funny um, uh, reviews and then patients just, I remember again I had a patient say, ringing the bell because you can leave the patients in the in the room and if they need something uh, they will just kind of uh, call you if you're not seeing them straight away. And then the, the lady was like, now where is that pain? I can't feel anything, are you sure it's on? I said, yes, this is it, it's on. Yeah. So it does yeah. not have to be pain. Ah, oh, but I read it's, it's horrible. I said, it won't yeah. be horrible. And then again, will it work? If I can't feel anything, will it work? Of course it will work. And yeah. uh, it's- I think that's important, isn't it? It's the fact that, that you know, that it is, a, it feels like, oh, I'm like a suction I've had it too. You know, I'm a bit of an addict to, to cool sculpting, as you know, Magda. And mm -hmm. um, uh, because I love it. And I actually think that, yeah, it does feel quite pinch initially, but a few minutes later, you can barely feed it. And as you say, you can watch Netflix or you can go to sleep or you can work. You can do so many different things. Can I just ask you, um, men and women. So of course, you know, we, we, we're seeing more and more men 
of course, coming in for all kinds of treatments nowadays. Men are investing in themselves. Women invest in themselves. They're used to doing their hair, you know, their nails. Uh, and I'm not being sexist here. I'm just stating fact. A lot of men had a sort of, again, a little bit of reticence or reluctance to do anything cosmetic, aesthetic. But certainly cool sculpting seems to capture the, the, the minds of men. You do a lot, and a, a lot of men with body contouring treatments, don't you? Why yeah. do you think? I would say probably probably 50 50 i mean there are those days and it's it's quite funny that sometimes we have all male patients and all the rooms are filled with male patients um it's it's from the husbands of the wife who had the treatment done um for someone who obviously has been recommended by personal trainer because now they are a bit more open about the cool sculpting they know we can actually help them to you know, to design the, the perfect body for the for the, the client for our patients, um, but definitely it's probably 50-50 these days. Lots of That's men, will, yeah, will have the their area treated from the chest, the flanks, abdomen, uh, and the chin as well. Yeah, yeah, because you see quite a few guys that 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 it is difficult sometimes for for well for any of us, any of us. But, but to shift that, even if they go to the gym, to sh shift that bit of extra on the tummy, bit of extra on the sort of love handle area. Yeah. And that area is a very popular one, isn't it? That sort of love handle, particularly even in people who go to the gym. Yes, it is. and um, again, recently I had a patient who was going through this bodybuilding competition. Absolutely, well, amazing body to look at, of course. Not very often you see this kind of patient, but couldn't shift his love handles. I mean, again, we, I'm not talking about the huge love handles. No. It's quite small, quite little, but there was nothing he can do, nothing. And um, I mean, that, I mean, he said I've changed his life because it was amazing to see that uh, treatment for 30, having a treatment 35 minutes, it can really, you know, um, make the difference into the into his um, hard work and and he looked so so much better when which he... it, may, it really does change people's lives like you yes. said it really does improve people's self-confidence and we're actually doing an in-house um study on that uh, very shortly about rating how it affects people's self-confidence because we know a lot of these treatments are not just for you know the cosmetic reasons it actually has a very real impact um, on self-esteem uh, and self-confidence which is huge it's hugely important and these things can't be overlooked i want to talk to you about uh, just very briefly about and, and again it's something that's that's that, that happens a lot I think with fat freezing, there's a lot of copycats. Uh, there, are, there are a lot of fat freezing offerings out there in the market. And cool sculpting, of course, is the one and only cool sculpting. It is FDA cleared, which means it is been proven to be efficacious, means it's proven to work, and it's proven to be safe. And it's had to go through all the safety, you know, all the checks and all the, the uh, um, analysis to, to prove to the public that, that it's, it's FDA cleared, it's safe, and it's efficacious. There are copycats out there, which we all know. There are there are lots of machines out there that freeze fat. Uh, and and look, let's be honest here. Some is that, but some of them do have um, some effectiveness. Some of them do work. But what we, why we um, actually favour cool sculpting, is because we know it's safe and we know it's reliable and we know that it has all kinds of. Um, clinical papers to back all that up so we know when we treat our patients they're going to be safe i also feel very strongly as you know um, when people are looking for treatments and looking for for a provider of um, treatment and as i say cool sculpting is the one and only treatment so for people listening they need to know to be aware of what they're looking for be aware of um, what they're getting when they ring around to to source treatment but of course, the other thing they want to do is get treatment in the most cost effective way. We know that everybody now is very uh, price sensitive um, and they want to get the best they can, but get, you know, you have the minimal fee, which I understand. But I think our ethos as well is we, we do do, as you know, package fees to, to, to make these, you know, best result treatments become more accessible because 
Can you talk to me about what I want to try and drill you down on where I'm headed with this question? Is that generally speaking, I think with cool sculpting, it's not just any old person can get a machine and plonk an applicator on an area and it all look good. It's what you and what our clinic offers, and I am biased, but it is true, is that we have people like yourself, you know, very experienced people who are very visual, very, very artistic. And actually, it's about that. It's about your assessment and your analysis of the patient's need that actually gives them best result. So can you tell me that, you know, over the years, you've been doing this for so long. It is about doing enough treatment, isn't it, to get the best result? Because if people just want to do one little applicator, I mean, it's true that some people do only need one little applicator, but it's like anything, isn't it? It's if you just did one little bit of, you know, if you needed hair colour and I went into my hairdresser now, my hair is not looking great. And she just decided to do the parting. I'm not going to look great. Can you tell us about the way you approach a patient? First of all, the way you artistically assess them, you know, the way you look at people. And also tell us a little bit about how you work out how many, how you do the treatments to get best result. Yeah, I mean, again, uh, every patient is uh, different. Every patient has got different lifestyles. So when we see a new patient in our clinic, when I see the patient in, in the clinic, um, yes, very often it's a recommendation from somebody who already had the treatment and they believe in the system, they, they, um, they actually want to go for the treatment, they are they're ready for that, they know they will uh, invest money for something which will make the difference for themselves. But when I have those new patients who very often, yes, of course, uh, they come to the clinic and they say, oh gosh, it's very expensive, or it can be a little bit expensive. Then you need to give them a little bit of more information rather than, oh yes, you're suitable for two or three applications. And they just, they just don't know what, what that means. Um, so yes, I like to find out their lifestyle. I, would, I always like to know what they are actually wanting from the treatment. Um, is it just for themselves or is it something because they've been struggling with uh, losing few um, you know, pouches of the body, they can't do it? Do they have a good lifestyle to start with? Uh, do they exercise? Because that is very important. I always say with the cool sculpting, I, I, I like to treat patients which they on ideal body weight. Uh, I'm not saying they size eight because we, no, we can no, no. Size 16, but this is our, ideal body weight and we still can struggle with a little bit of just a tummy, tummy fat or tummy, um, the area which, which they can't do anything about it. But uh, it's mainly about um, giving them confidence and understanding the whole process of cool sculpting. And like, yeah, like you mentioned, not always treating your, for example, abdomen will change will make enough changes for the patient. Sometimes by treating just abdomen, um, they can see a little bit of the difference, but they will need to almost go for a bit of a um, flank, flank yes. with it. And yeah. by doing that, it will make a difference and it will yeah. be that wow factor. So yeah. that's what I was getting at. Patients yeah. And again, and it's depending on the patient, what they want to, you know, how much uh, they want to invest into this treatment, the time and the money, of course, as well. And uh, very often they ask, well, why this is um, costing so-and-so? And I just went to the clinic down the road and they said it's, uh, it's so much cheaper. And very often then, yes, you, you start asking, what kind of machine was it? And, and yes, it's a copycat. And, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and there's not the, 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 back, back, the um, data behind that kind of other technology is not the same. But what I was wanting, and you did, you did say it, was that you, you're looking when you assess, I've seen you do it, so I, I know exactly what you do. You know, we have mirrors, we, we, you, you look at the patient from every angle, because of course we all know, you know, if we move in a certain way or, or, or turn around a certain way or wear certain clothes, we can, and I know you do this, you look at people in clothes, out of clothes, in their underwear, so that you can see, because where we get and where you get such excellent reproducible results is that you know if you treat X and you don't treat Y, you don't get as good a result. You know that if you treat X and Y, the patient's going to be over the moon. And yeah. I think that's the difference. It's easy to say, oh, well, just let's do this little bit here. And of course it will then. 
be um, you know a, a less expensive um, treatment um, but actually the result won't be wow and what a lot of people want is wow and you know it's fine for patients to start off with small areas and see how they go and then gradually that, that's fabulous but if someone wants a wow right from the beginning and only if they need it of course they they have to your assessment is key isn't it to to getting them that wow absolutely absolutely because uh, like you said i mean again long let's say seven years ago we never approach patients that way because we thought okay one of treatment that's it um where i really have a patient uh, with me for that nearly 10 years they're coming and they're coming for different areas and again abdomen we can now treat with, with a smooth applicator if you smooth it we can make it looking even better um it actually yeah, proves so myself that more you do it you're gonna achieve better response yeah. Of course, I do have certain patients saying, I want more, but there's no need. There's no yeah. need. That's the and other way. Yep. These days, we yeah. can offer something else um, to oh, improve. I'm going to butt in with that. I'm going to butt in. That's oh. what I'm going to finish off with. <laughs> so when you say nowadays, we can, we can offer something else. What I know you're very expert at because of your body contouring expertise over all those years um, you're now in some patients either combining cool sculpting with M sculpt or your so just give us a little you know a little breakdown of how you can make results even better with other things as well because not everybody needs this and we're not saying they do some people cool sculpting you know job done great but there are some people who want to sort of really improve the abs and get more muscle tone so just give us a little snapshot of what else you can do either either in conjunction with cool sculpting or just on its own so talk us about talk yeah, to us about. I mean, again recently we introduced the m sculpt to our clinic and has been absolutely amazing um because seeing that doing cool sculpting so reduce a little bit of the volume and then combine it with something which will make your muscle a bit more defined it can make a i mean it's a, a it's a amazing combination absolutely amazing combination very often patients would say well just a little bit of the skin there very little and again the cool sculpting won't do anything about no. that by, no. by, by treating it with again sometimes we may use a bit of skin tightening on on that kind of patients everyone is different everyone is unique so when patients come to me oh but you recommended this and this to my friend i said yes but your body is totally different, different than your friend body it's like wearing perfume you know i can spray myself with this amazing perfume it won't be the same as on on somebody else so we have to explain to this this to the patient everyone is unique we can't give you the um, quotation over the phone exactly what you need because you may not need as much or you may need a little bit more or maybe we can just give you a little bit of different um, yeah um, everyone is different that's what yeah. I would say that's why I, and again you said it I mean that is why it's so hard because people do do that they ring up and understandably completely understandably well you know how much for this and, how, and I understand that but it's not like um, other fees it is it is totally bespoke um and it, it will vary a lot from person to person and i think that is the point here is that when you want to get the best results for people not mislead them be honest and truthful about their needs because we don't want people to come back and say they're disappointed with, with treatment at all if they've had too little and if people have too little treatment it will set them up for not getting the result they want. Going back to the fringe thing, it just will. Yes. So yes. actually over the phone, it's nigh on impossible. It's not being invasive. I think sometimes patients who want fees open, well, this clinic's given me this quote. What? It's impossible almost to give an idea until you physically felt, touched, assessed the patient. You just cannot give an honest, answer and that is why at our clinic as you know we we run complimentary consultations for all our patients for body contouring for that very reason people don't need to make a financial investment to, to have the consultation they don't have to have the treatment it's just have an assessment find out what we say and then people can then make their own decision about whether they want to proceed at some point or not and i think that's really really important because as you say it's like perfume it smells different on one person to another 
everybody is different. Mm -hmm. So I think that has given such a brilliant overview um, of course sculpting. It, it is, of course, a tiny snapshot of what, what we do every day and what you do every day. But I can see, and I'm sure everybody can see this, is you're so passionate about what you do. Um, you know it works. Squeezing these bodies, you know, I just want to squeeze some. <laughs> it's well, I think working. we use that as your strap line, Magda, <laughs> Magda ready to, to squeeze, squeeze you. But yeah. it's been lovely to talk to you, Magda. And I know we're going to be opening very soon now. So I look forward to seeing Can't you. Can't wait. Can't wait. Thank you so much, Dr. Murphy. Thank you for all your expert comments. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. See you soon.